All right, now for some uh, personal fun questions. Okay. Favorite favorite food and or restaurant? Uh, right now I'm obsessed with a little place on Juniper Street here in Atlanta called Ta Korea. It's a Mexican-Korean fusion. So it's like Korean barbecue in a taco shell. <laughs> and literally, Scotty and I went there for lunch on Scout Mob, you know, and did that. Went back that same night for dinner. Went back the next night for dinner. Went back that Friday for dinner. Four times in a week, same restaurant. Something worked, you know. Well, so that, that's the, I'm obsessed with that one right now. That's so. the next place we're eating. Yeah. Um, favorite liquor or preferred cocktail? Oh, goodness. I go back and forth. I love a dirty martini. You know, it's a little extra vermouth, really dirty. Um, not good for my blood pressure, but I absolutely love dirty martinis. And I'm also a tequila fan. Favorite dessert? That's not allowed on the diet. Um, <laughs> but, 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 yeah, but, you know, when I magically somehow might accidentally have a dessert <laughs> fall in my mouth, um, I would actually, my f absolute favorite thing ever, it's pub food from England. It's a sticky toffee pudding. It's one of my absolute favorites ever. Check it out. What do you sleep in? Nothing. A bed? You know, <laughs> I guess, you know. Birthday sleep? Always naked. Yep. Boxers or briefs? Um, neither? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. At least not today. That option, yeah. um, usually boxer briefs or jock strap if I'm wearing something. Okay. People always joke at the gym that I'm the one that has the peekaboo cock because I <laughs> kind of forget underwear under my gym shorts. <laughs> <laughs> you showed me a lot of pictures uh, last night, and obviously you have a lot of ink on you. Yep. Any ideas for your next tattoo? Actually, I've got one I'm going to do down this side right here. Um, I'm obsessed with Battlestar Galactica, um, the remake that was on Sci-Fi Network, and that's where my whole back wing tattoo comes from. Um yeah, the one on my chest that I had here um, was based off of a symbol from the show Caprica, which was a prequel to Battlestar Galactica. Oh, wow. And I just got this new piece here, which is a Tauron, which is for Taurus. I'm a Taurus. Um, yeah, right? <laughs> That's why we both get along, because we're so bullheaded. But, you know, but that one is based off of a symbol from the show as well. And then I've got one here I'm going to do It's based off of crop circles. So, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So. Um. All right. Favorite place to be kissed. Um. Hmm. Besides the obvious. I was gonna say, I like it down through here, mm -hmm. and then on my butthole. <laughs> is that a good? Is that a? I guess you could call that sort of kissing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or like right below my nuts. That's another good one. All right. So, for you, describe your perfect a perfect day for you and. Oh, goodness. Perfect date for me and Scotty. It would be a 24-hour thing because we're, we're one of those. We just had a friend um, in from Minnesota, Harley Wood. He's a musician. Amazing. Um, Google him if you get a chance. Um, and he was staying with us for a few days. Uh, we affectionately call him our pup. And we uh, would get up in the morning and we, we would go, 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 go. And he was like, my God, how do you cram this much stuff into one day? But that's just that's how we we are we're super high energy people but the perfect date we would probably get up um i'd cook breakfast you know because i love to cook I, actually i had a, one of my twitter followers was like um because i tweet out stuff i make all the time and and he was like wait a minute i'm asking for recipe advice from a porn star <laughs> yeah, call me so betty crocker you know yeah. but um yeah i'd make breakfast and we'd go to the gym and then we would go do something special like the aquarium, a zoo, a botanical garden, an art gallery, you know, just something interesting. If It might even just be going to Ikea. You know, I don't know. But we would do something fun and interactive where we run through and we have a good time together. Um, some kind of really nice lunch somewhere because we're both foodies. Um, and then probably an afternoon movie or, you know, a blanket in the park with a bottle of wine. Um, nice, cheap but romantic dinner. Because I, I love finding little hole in the wall places that are, you know, instead of forty bucks a person, yeah. it's twenty bucks a person, and right. it tastes that much better because mm -hmm. of it, right. you know. And and then you know, just spending time together, you know. Well, actually, one of our favorite things is I'll just lay in the bed reading one of my books because I read all the time. Molly rubs my feet or rubs my back, you know. And it's just it's super super sweet, 
the compassion is there, the passion's there, the affection's there. And that that's what you really need. You know, it doesn't matter what you're doing as long as all that's there. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. All right. Where's the favorite what your favorite vacation spot? Best place you've ever been. Oh vacation. goodness. Hmm. I have a couple. My one of my favorite vacation spots I actually went with my whole family. We did a trip around the world. We were all living in Europe at the time and we were on our we were all moving back to the US. So we went the long way. Instead of coming back, you know, seven hour flight, we started in Europe and then ended up in Thailand and, and came all the way around through Australia and such. And it was Bangkok. And I think part of the reason that Bangkok was interesting to me was because didn't speak the language, couldn't read the billboards, had no clue what was going on, you know. 50% of the time, but then you'd see the mother with her little kid walking down the street holding hands or, you know, the little kid throwing a temper tantrum and it all still made sense because it was all about people and interaction with people and it was just, it was really fascinating to be in a completely different culture and environment and, um, you know, but see, the people were still people. Um, my other one's kind of a stock generic answer, I love beaches. Yeah. I love a margarita or a martini and a beach. Yes. Can't beat it. All right. Is there anything that you can tell us about yourself that your fans would be surprised to know? Oh, goodness. Let's see. A lot of folks don't realize that I have a master's degree in business administration. I used to run a 500-person company and kind of what I said had a early midlife crisis and decided to try something different. You know, um, so that that's something a lot of folks don't don't realize is that, you know, a lot of us that are in this adult industry do it because we want to be, not because it's something that we feel like we have to do. I think that makes it more fun. All right. Describe yourself using one word. Hmm. One word to describe me. Energetic. Ooh, I agree. Yes. You know. <laughs> I definitely agree. Yeah. Whether it's talking or, or in the gym or just interacting with people, I, I'm definitely an energetic person. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much, Charlie. <laughs> oh, One more where, time. I yeah. was going to say, where can you find you on Twitter? What's your... Okay. Right now, oh. well, well that Twitter's a little funny. bit of a nightmare for me right now because they blocked my <laughs> new one, but right now I'm still at at Harding on Film. Okay. H-A-R-D-I-N-G-O-N-F-I-L-M. Um, and then website is charlesworld.com. Excellent. Thank you. Thank You're you welcome. very much. Thanks.